Hey, welcome back to JavaScript Evangelist. So today we are going to learn uh, how to uh, communicate between parent and child. So we'll be also sending uh, data from parent to a child and also from child to parent. So let's see how to do that. So before we start, I'll just show you uh, a little bit about the current project. Uh, this is just a, a simple project uh, which I am continuing over. So we have a parent component. Uh, the parent component name is uh, post container component. So which is this. I'll just go to the presentation mode uh, in my uh, IDE that is WebStrom. Okay. So this is the component file. And if you look at the HTML, it has nothing. Angular CLI to generate a component. You have to type ng, g for generate component and the component name post child all right so when we create post child component which is over here now i'll just show you so we have a post child uh, component also whenever a cli generates a component so this is the component okay post child component it is appending uh, the selector app also it is as well adding it to the module app module over here so you can see the post child component is added under the declarations okay and uh, let's just uh, resume at our data communication patterns so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add the post child inside parent component container and let's just view it uh, how it looks now so you can see uh, post child works and post container works so this part is coming from uh, the parent container post container inside post container we have our post child container component all right so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a placeholder inside post child to accept a data from parent so i'll just go to the post child component and i'll add something called add input decorator add input decorator is a function all right so let's say i'll just say uh, title uh, so i'm about to receive a title now when you add something like this you can also use this inside the post child component html so i'll just add it over here uh, i'll just add an h4 and double curly braces and the title all right so we have an input decorator and the variable name is title okay let's just go back to the parent uh, html that is post container html so this title uh, uh, was available to us because we have created an input variable and i'm just going to pass a simple title uh, hey from parent all right and let's see how it looks all right it's working fine all right it's simple as that so that's how you send a data from a parent to a child component uh, we can also do one more thing the child component so instead of uh, setting it as a variable i can also set it as a setter so whenever we receive a title uh, i want to modify that so let's see how we can do that so instead of adding it like this i'm going to add a setter over here called um, set title all right and this function is going to run for the title so this is the same thing now whenever we receive a title we are going to receive a value and i'm just going to do a console.log value all right let's see how it looks value from the parent and we are console.log in our function by the way you can omit this and you can just simply say title and it will still work fine okay all right but you are noticing that it's not being printed over here the reason for that is we have to assign the value over here now so i'll say my title okay this is something called public value now my title and i'm going to set this value over here this dot my title equal to value and 
I have to update this my title inside the HTML of post child component HTML. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, everything's working fine. Uh, we can modify this value as well. I'll just append something after this. I'll say mm, modify it. All right, let's see how it looks. Perfect, working fine. There is one more thing I would like to show you. That is the post uh, container component. Over here, uh, remember we are passing a string value over here. Uh, also, you can pass variables over here, that's fine. So I'll just call it as uh, title again. All right, so I can set a default value uh, title from parent. Okay, now I'll just go back to the HTML over here. You can just uh, print it over here. All right, this is the title from the parent and I'm just going to pass it over here as it is. And you can see everything is working fine. Title from parent and title from parent modified. So everything is working, right? Instead of passing a variable, we can also pass objects. But as you know, the JavaScript rule, uh, objects and arrays, they are stored in JavaScript as a reference. Uh, I'll just show it to, to you in the uh, Chrome's console. All the objects in JavaScript, they are stored as a reference. So functions, arrays and objects, object literals. So I'll just show you a simple example. So I'm just going to create a variable uh, A, okay? Variable A equals to an object and variable B is equal to A, all right? I'm just going to hit enter. Now, if you notice, uh, if I just say B dot uh, C, it will print out two, right? But if I update B dot C equals to 99, what do you think what will happen? It will also change the value of A dot C. That's why that is what I mean. So basically A is pointing at this object as well. B is pointing at the same object. So they are stored as a reference. All right. So I'm going to do just that now with help of Angular. So rather than passing as a title, I'm going to send a person. Okay. Person name is equal to JavaScript evangelist. All right. And I'm going to pass this person to the child which is over here okay uh, I think we can keep the same name it's uh, it's fine it doesn't matter okay uh, let's just go back and see if it's working okay we are getting an object object cause we are receiving an object so let's just go to the post child this is uh, inside post child component typescript file if you look at it over here okay so we are receiving an object over here. So what I'm going to do is, oh, by the way, I'm just going back to the old one now. Title. So we are receiving an object. Um, I'll just try to modify this object. We'll set a click method over here. Change name. Okay. So title dot name is equal to mm, JS dude. All right. And basically this is going to be this dot title. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, also, we need to set a uh, click event over here. So I'll just add a button. Okay. And I'll add a click and change name. So whenever you hit the change name over here, let's see what happens. Okay. So I'm just going back to the post child component. So we are receiving a title. It's not basically a title. Uh, it's basically a person. We are receiving a person. I'll just set it as a person. Uh, person from parent. Okay. So I'm just going to update the same thing inside the post container component HTML. Okay. You can see. And I'm passing this person over here. Okay. Also, we'll just print the 
person over here. So this is the person. We are passing the person to the child as a person from parent. Okay, now hit, if I hit the change name, let's see what happens. Hey, <laughs> so basically it's working. It's affecting to the parent as well. Okay, but this is not the right way. Never modify a reference object into child component. So let's see how to do this properly. Rather than updating, updating the person from parent like this, we can do something else. So we are getting a, basically we are getting a name over here. Okay, so we'll say person name. We are getting a person name. Okay. And I'll just do a console log or maybe uh, this dot my title equal to person name. Okay, and I'm just going to update it over here. Okay, so child will update. Oh, sorry. Child is getting uh, the value from parent person name. We are displaying the person name inside the child and on clicking of that, we are going to update the parent value. Okay, let's see how we do that. Uh, I'm going to emit a event this time. So we are going to call it as output. Okay, we are going to make it uh, on person or maybe let's say on name change. We'll just call this event as on name change and this is going to be a type of new event emitter. All right. So this is an on, cha on name change event, which we are creating over here. Whenever we emit this event, we have to emit a value. So this dot on name change event emits a value. So the value will be the new person. So what we can do is we can change this title over here. This dot my title will be new person name. Okay. And we are going to pass this value over here. Maybe you can just pass the string as well, just to make it simple. We're just going to pass a string. Okay. On name change is an event name. All right. Now I'm going to, back, going to go back to the parent that is post container component TypeScript file. Okay. Inside this HTML, I'm emitting an event over here. Okay. The event name is, as you can guess, on name change. Okay. On name change, something is going to happen. So on name change, this post child is inside post container component HTML. Okay. So on name change event, I have to run a certain function inside the parent. So I'm just going to create that function. So I'll call it uh, handle on name change. Okay. So this is going to handle that. And we are going to pass a value over here. So this is basically an event which we receive from the uh, on name change event. So what we're going to do is this dot person dot name is equal to the event which we receive event is going to be the value and I'm just going to call this inside the HTML. So on name change event triggers this function. Okay. And it eventually passes the event dollar event. Okay. And let's see how it looks. Oh, we made a mistake. I think uh, it's, <laughs> oh yeah, I have removed this property. I'll just remove this. So basically in the child, we are receiving person name. We'll just, we are receiving a person name, person dot name. 
okay we are receiving a person dot name and let's see how it looks all right everything is looking good so this is the person dot name from the parent child receives a name javascript evangelist and i'm going to change this all right hey <laughs> it works new person name so we updated a value in the child okay so i'll just go to the post child component we updated the value on click we updated the value of my title with this value and we are emitting the same value with this on name change event on name change event is listed as an event listener inside the parent html that is the post container component html as you can see over here so this is the on name change event whenever this event gets triggered not with a click but programmatically whenever this event gets triggered this function will trick will run and this function gets passed an dollar event which is emitted from this event and whenever this function is run it eventually sets the person dot name with the event whatever event it receives all right so that's all the basics of input and output and eventually this is how angular 2 or angular 4 communication happens between parent and a child and from child to parent by the way <laughs> there is no difference between angular 2 and angular 4 it's just a versioning upgrade so angular 2 becomes much more faster powerful gets in newer features the syntax remains same uh, some few syntactic sugars gets added angular 2 is keep on going to get updates every 4 or 5 months so they are going to update to angular 5 in august 2017 and maybe after next every each 4 months they are going to update the version from 5 to 6 6 to 7 like that and hope you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel that is javascript evangelist bye bye thank you